In our business, the biggest compliment we can give a kid, a coach, or a team is that they're an overachiever. Jason Taylor was an overachiever for Lobb High School as a coach, a player, and a team member. For those of you who don't know JT's story, I'd like to take a second to tell you. Jason was a player here from 1998 to 2000. During that time, his team went 34-4 in his three years at LHS. Jason was an overachieving offensive lineman for the Wolverines, who had the heart <clears throat> to work himself into a very good offensive lineman. As a player, JT embodied everything that we want a Wolverine football player. He loved the weight room, and he played the game with passion. Jason approached coaching with the same passion that made him a good player on the field. He made his players at LHS and at Central better. The last two classes of linemen Lawton High has received from Central are a lot further along, and they're a lot better offensive linemen as a result of the time spent with Coach Taylor. Before the 2007 season, Jason was diagnosed with an extremely rare and aggressive form of cancer. The cancer was so rare and strong that no hospital around here would touch it. <clears throat> Jason had to travel to MD Anderson Hospital in Houston to get treatments. Jason loved Wolverine football so much, he set up his radiation and chemotherapy treatments from Sunday to Thursday so that he would be released Friday morning in time to make it back to coach Friday night's game. Jason went on to beat cancer and was cancer-free for three years until June of 2010 that he found out the cancer had returned and spread to his heart. <clears throat> he had two golf ball sized tumors stacked inside his heart, blocking it to where his heart was only functioning at 20%. That summer night in June, <clears throat> Jason was told he would not make it through the night. Again, defying the odds, Jason went on to live 13 more months. During his last season with us, Jason again set up his treatment schedule around LHS football. Jason told his doctor, look, doc, on September 3rd, 2010, Lawton High is going to beat I, and I will be there for that game. So you schedule this however you want, but I will be at that game. I will be at Cameron Stadium. It is Coach Taylor's passion for Wolverine football that gave us the idea to create the Coach Jason Taylor Heart of Wolverine Award, which will be given out each year to the most deserving Wolverine who displays Jason's passion for Lawton High football. And now to announce the inaugural winner is Jason's parents, Mr. Andy Taylor and his wife, Tracy Taylor. showed the same heart and determination, getting in a car and driving back every Friday after spending a week in Houston being pounded with chemo and radiation so he coached a good coach his kids because he didn't want to let them down. Until the very end, he kept fighting and inspired everyone who came into contact with him to be better and to forget their troubles and trust God had a plan. 
in the last month of Jason's life, Jason's, in the last month of his life, JT underwent a surgery that the doctors gave him less than a 10% chance to make it off the table. He fought, he made it through. They gave him a 20% chance to wake up after that surgery. He fought and he woke up. They gave him a 35% chance to ever walk again. And on the day before he passed away, he walked 1,250 feet. Okay? He received standing ovations from everyone who saw him walking. And his answer to all this attention was, it's not about me. I didn't do anything. God and the doctors did it all and deserved the credit. Besides being a fighter, he was very humble. And he accepted God's will for him. One of his doctors wrote the following. Mr. and Ms. Taylor, I want you and your family to know that Jason's heart has taught me so much over the last days. And I'm not talking about his new mechanical heart or the diseased heart that he used to have. I'm talking about the heart that will always be inside Jason, stronger than any mechanical heart, the heart that is unbreakable and illness-free and that is full of love. This extraordinary heart has taught me that we are obligated to live with passion because life is a miracle. His heart has shown me, as well as God, his heart has shown me as well that God loves us. He can give us the will and the courage that are necessary to face our fears and anguishes. And I know that God will always be in his heart. While many of you show outstanding drive and determination in everything you do, the coaches have come together to choose one player that best exemplifies the standards set by Coach JT. We would like to present the first annual Coach J Jason J.T. Taylor $500 scholarship to Adam Castro.